Hi, I'm Red, and we're in my workshop where I just finished creating this travel bag, which I'm gonna use for ice fishing. Uh, and inside of it, I hold my Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. Uh, just a quick go through on what this does is, um, it's a multi-purpose unit. It has a flasher, which is used for ice fishing, and that's mainly why I got it, but it also has a traditional uh, output, and it has a waypoint map to mark your spots where you're fishing. I definitely like that. Um, but this is a cheaper unit, it costs a hundred bucks. I, I got it at Dick's, and they, um, they price matched Amazon, which was fairly nice. Um, so yeah, hundred bucks. For about $180, I could have got the whole system. And it would have came with a battery and um, a bag to keep it in, basically. So for 80 bucks, you get a battery and a bag. And I like to save money, so I put this together. I figured I'm handy enough. I can turn a cooler into a travel bag. So that's what we did. I'm going to show you all about it. Um, let's get right down to it. So in the front compartment here I have our transducer now this isn't an ice transducer this is just a regular boat one and it has a mount on it um, that I had to put on there um, I still put it on there because it helps me uh, maintain levelness with it so you know you want that thing to sit there in the water level and this has like you know you can adjust it like that but basically so I'm gonna want it level. And all I did was uh, use a zip tie and zip tied the cord to it. And really that's all it took to still be able to use the, the clicks to change the angle at which it sits in the water. So that's how we did that. So we just got an imaginary hole for fishing here through the ice and dropped that in there. Um, and then as you can see, I have some extra cable. They come with this. This unit comes with quite a bit of extra cable, which is nice, but I'll probably never use it. <clears throat> so, anyway, store that right here in the front. As you can see here, maybe, get a light on the subject. But, I put a hole through this, this bag here. So the wire can go through there. So I'm not keeping any wires on the outside of it. Basically there's a hole that goes through here and then up through the top, which you'll see here. So, so we open up the top of the ceiling. It's kind of nice. There's two storage areas. There's the top and then they have another zipper right here and then down at the bottom. That's where we have the battery. Up in the top here though, I need to adjust this this way a little bit. Um, we have the mount. It's part of it. That's the upper section of the mount. We have that Garmin unit itself here. And then I cut this piece of pla plastic out right here. Uh, I cut it perfectly to sit sit in the top there. But what that does is give me something to to mount the the bottom part of the mount too so as you see there's bolts that go through here um, i just drilled through and put the bolts on the other side now i also drilled a hole right right here and right here you can see them right there and right there uh that's for your wires to come through one wire there's only two wires for this Set this up. All we gotta do is clip that on there. Take the caps off our cables. Plug it in. There we go. So it's plugged in. Uh, and then this just slides into place. Boom, and it clips. Okay, now we're functional. You know, so this spins around. If I want to go to a different hole, I don't have to take it all down. I just, you know, pick up the strap, 
Take the trans transducer out of the hole. Here we are at another hole. Drop it in. We're, we're still good to go. So that's how that works. Um, and then in the lower section here is where we store our battery and the battery cable. So if you look in there, there's two batteries. Uh, just one is a backup. Um, they have these clips that I had to mount. You, you know, these are fairly cheap. You buy them at any hardware store. It's just a female T1 terminal is what I'm connecting to. So that just slides right down there. Slide them off for charging. Um, over here I have the extra cable. Tucks in the side of the battery. As you can see, there's not much extra room, so they might slide in around a whole bunch. But yeah, so that's how that works. Just zip it back up. You can see, let's turn this on just so you can see. Well. I'll show you the flasher here. This is what we're talking about. Um, the flasher works where uh, you you can't see it right now, but that red line will be down here, and you can see uh, exactly how many feet you're at. And this will be blue here, and then you'll see a bar that'll come up. And uh, I'm not sure how, what color this unit uses, but as the bar comes up off the bottom, that's a fish. But from the other way, you'll see your lure drop from the top down, and you can set it at whatever depth you want. And then you just be sitting there jigging it a little bit. And uh, like I said, from the bottom, one of these colors will come up, and it'll separate itself from the bottom and go towards your where you see your lure. And it's really handy for ice fishing because, as we all know, uh, the bite is light while ice fishing. So. That's how that's all set up to put it away. Just unplug it. Unclip it. I like to keep it in the bag. Just keep my stuff nice. Put it in there. Tuck the cords in. Really, really simple. Zip it up. Pull the transducer out of the water. And fits in there. I wish this had a little bit bigger of a a front pouch, but I I might have my wife sew something on here to uh, to extend it to where it clips down. But anyways, once again, I'm Red, and thanks for coming to my garage and seeing how I like to save money. Hopefully, I've saved you some too, and if I have feel free to like and follow me. Thank you.